So, so this is my workshop. The love dungeon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never said that out loud before. I tinker around. You know, just, just pass the time. My cat used to sleep there. Well, now he just stopped sleeping there. I made biscuits as well. It seems they're a bit uh, burnt. Do you accept these cookies? <laughs> Get it? So, Gary, how did you invent the internet? Well. I was about 17. I was starting my first semester at Stanford. And uh, I was having a bit of a time making friends, to be honest. I was never really good at being a teenager, even when I was one. I think today I'd be much better with the slang. I like to think that my flowers have uh, the riz. Yeah. I feel I've actually put the riz on them for eels. I'm sorry? Caps off. To be quite honest, I'm not uh, entirely comfortable with the new vernacular. I have this one friend, uh, Christopher, who later became my lab partner. He was going to the University of uh, California, Berkeley. And I thought to myself, perhaps there's a way that we could get the two schools' computer systems to uh, connect to each other. For what purpose? To connect people. That's what the internet's always been about, connecting people. At least it was in the beginning. Now I'm not quite sure what it's for. So I uploaded a photograph of my cat, Arpa, online a few hours ago, and it seems I've gotten a comment. Let's see. Dogs are better. Go kill yourself. The comment seems to have gotten three of these. Uh, I think, I think those are upvotes. Yeah. So um, Christopher's family had uh, friends of the government. And uh, when they found out what we were doing, um, some fellas came around from the Pentagon and, funny enough, they paid for all of our research. They wanted to take the whole thing nationally. Is that what you wanted? It's what, it's what Christopher wanted. It, it was. Um, we wanted to connect people, so um, why not connect everyone? So um, this would be my bedroom, yeah? It's, uh, don't really have much of a name for that. I guess it's just uh, the bedroom. Uh, what, what's in here? Oh, this is, uh, this is just a server room, love. It's, uh, it runs a bit warm. We should keep that closed. Radio. So, if you invented the World Wide Web... Oh, the internet, love. I invented the internet. Um, I'm kind of afraid of spiders, so if I didn't get into the World Wide Web, I'm sure I would have changed the name to something like uh, the World Wide Lattice or something of that nature. Okay. So if you invented the internet, why didn't the government give you the credit? Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing sinister. It's uh, just a matter that I'm not the cool young inventor that they would, you know, want out for their marketing campaigns. I'm not flashy like Will Yates and uh, what's that other fellow's name? Uh, Eden Muskrats. You know the type. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, Christopher insisted that I uh, be recognised, but I really didn't think it was important, but he insisted. So the DOD decided they'd name it after me, so I would um, basically not uh, go public. I'm sorry. Mm. No, no. No, no. It worked out quite well. I mean, they bought me this beautiful home for me and, uh, and uh, once they realised that uh, 
I was the only one that could keep it up and going. They, uh, well, they gave it back. They gave what back? The internet. They let me keep it. What do you mean they let you keep the internet? They let me keep the internet. You have the internet here hmm? in the house? It's just over there. Would you like to see it? I find if I keep it high, it gets the best reception. Hello, yeah, lovely. There we go. What's that? What's the internet? That's a black box. Well, I never claimed to be an artist, now did I? Back in the 90s, Christopher put a little fiery flame around it. I felt it was a bit ostentatious, so we uh, paint it back out. Well, there's no wires. Oh, I know, it's wireless, isn't it? Lovely. I just... Oh, careful there, love. She can be a tad finicky. The last time somebody bopped around with it, it uh, was at my millennial party, and uh, it cost quite a couple of fault there. Yeah. Y2K? Hmm? So you were telling me that the entire internet just sits on your kitchen table. Mm. Most of the time, yeah. I mean, Channel 4 came and collected for a little bit. They took it down, brought it back about a week later. <laughs> I don't. Most of the time, I put just snuggles with it. Keeps it warm. It's really quite cute. I've got some photographs somewhere you'd like to see. Let's see if that one is somewhere. theatrical, that's why I wanted to document him. But up to this point, we don't know the full extent of his delusions. This is the only room in the house he wouldn't show us. Who's, who's that with him? There's no way. Okay, so 
I thought Gary was cuckoo this morning and the last few days. I, <laughs> but then I looked at the news this morning. Could he actually be legit? <laughs> I mean, could he have actually invented the internet? <sighs> Was that the internet just sitting on the table all the while? <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna be so famous. <laughs> this is so much more interesting than filming some like lonely British guy. <laughs> there we are, right down the oven. Gary, hmm? uh, I'm sorry if it seemed like yesterday we weren't filming in earnest. <laughs> well, I can tell. But you could. Oh, yes. You don't think that those were homemade. You think they were store bought. And uh, I'm oh. afraid those are a, uh, an internet family recipe and they are dreadful. So <sighs> I do apologize. But uh, I do have some news. Um, I've got something for your documentary. Oh. Yes, I'm going to uh, let you film me. As I, uh, as I turn it off. Excuse me? Yes, I've been thinking about it for quite a long while, and uh, I'm gonna turn off the internet. Yeah. I think it might be a good time. Yeah, I'm positive it's a good time. I'm gonna switch it right off. And uh, tomorrow night specifically, I should think. So, cookie? Mm. Cindery? Ugh. So I have been trying to talk Gary out of this insane idea for the past few hours, but he won't budge. He is convinced that his work no longer provides real connection and understanding. So I had an idea. I thought if I could just show him the good that his work does for other people, then he would see it as the force for good that it really is. So I put out this Craigslist ad asking for people who spend more than six hours a day online, and I asked them to come speak to him this afternoon. In hindsight, people who are terminally online may not be the best examples of the user base. So, um, Chuck, is it? And then you've got a bit of uh, that on there. So, Chuck, uh, exactly what is it that uh, that you do? My dad owns a convenience store. Yes, and, and, and what exactly is it that you do do? Uh, I'm a ge moderator from Mongolian Spearfishing Forum. Oh, brilliant. Love that. And uh, what exactly is that that they uh, entail? I mean, what does a moderator do? I keep the peace, basically. Oh, lovely. lovely. Kind of like I'm everyone's boss. Yeah. Must pay quite well. No, not in money, oh. no, in respect. Okay, don't look at the camera, please. Oh, how would your, um, how would your life change um, without the internet? Oh, boy. That would be terrible. Right. You understand, it's most of my day right there. There we are. It's uh, good to hydrate. Well, I'd probably go back to school, finish up my business degree. My parents would probably make me get a real job. Probably be forced to spend more time socializing outside. The horror. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be the worst. So, you invented the internet? I did, yes. Based. 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 Yes, based, based on uh, the ARPANET. I, uh, I named it after my cat. I've got a photograph somewhere we'd like to see. Yeah. 
What's your ethnic background? Okay, no, this was a mistake. So, uh, mm, Raven, someone cross posted me without credit. Quite. Then we, your uh, ad says that you invented the internet. Well, you must be like a hundred years old. I mean, like not wholesome one hundred, but like forgetful one hundred. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually eighty six. Ew. We're doing an IRL AMA with me today. AMA. I. I don't. Does that require vaccination? Does that make me vaccinate? No, Gary. Gosh, you really are showing that age. You're rotten, aren't uh, you? Yeah, ask her anything. Oh, uh, so, Raven, uh, dear, what, um, what exactly would your life be like without the internet? Gary, my whole life is online. The social causes I support, I mean, fighting bigotry, racism, sexism, all the time. So you, you fight all the, uh, isms? Yeah. So, um, but, uh, could, couldn't you do that, like, in the real world? I mean, y yeah, I guess, but, like, it's just easier to do it online because then I'd have to, like, go places and things, and I don't really... Right. Yeah. But, oh, I do also have my own e-commerce business, so that's kind of slay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. It seems that Daisy was telling me about that. It seems you, uh, mm. you sell small appliances online. That's, uh, that's good. That's very good. Uh, it seems you sell the uh, fans. And only fans. Only fans. <laughs> it seems like a limited business model then, doesn't it? Perhaps you should diversify, love. I mean, like, yeah. perhaps you could sell tea towels or um, maybe toys for the kitty. You know, I've got a kitty. He, he fell in the toilet I'm this morning. I'm allergic to cats, Gary. <laughs> he fell in the toilet this morning. He, uh, I also think he... keeping pets is, like, super cool. <clears throat> This, this is going to be in a documentary, right? Okay. You must be Gary. <laughs> oh, well, 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 yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Gary, <clears throat> nice to meet you. <clears throat> so, uh, Michael, what is it uh, that uh, oh, executives you? I'm sorry. B before we begin, I got to ask. However, did you manage to grow fox gloves over here? <laughs> oh, well, strangely enough, a friend of mine, a fellow horticulturist, he, uh, oh. he uh, sent those over as a gift um, from across the pond. Nice. Thank you nice. so much for noticing. They're, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. 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 I, I have some peonies myself, but oh. that's about as broad as I get. So <laughs> <laughs> They can be very temperamental. Yeah. That's, uh, that's lovely. Yeah. How, how wonderful. <clears throat> uh, pardon me for saying, but uh, you don't seem the type of person that spends a lot of time on the internet. Mm. It's funny you should say that. See, I'm a marketing consultant, so I used to do most of my business in person. But ever since the pandemic, a lot of my business has moved to online. So, mm, yeah. Well, I can see how that could be very beneficial then. Here. Uh, well, thank you. Of course. You see, um, there's a lot of nuance between online advertisement and uh, brand identity. Wrong. Not everyone is, is up for influence. Here. Thank you. Mm, of course. Then. Plus, the uh, the internet allows me to stay in touch with my son. You see, he lives in Australia with his mother. Oh. <clears throat> I truly love him, you know. And um, I'm just thankful that, that your invention it allows me to stay in touch with them. So. That's lovely to hear, actually. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry, guys. That's, that's wonderful to hear. How embarrassing. <laughs> no, no doubt at all. Not at all. The emotions of fatherhood must be quite overwhelming. Quite grilling, I imagine. So, um, how's the water? It's, 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 it's just fine. Okay. Hey, Gary. Gary, can you do me a favor? Can you hold up this bottle of water to the camera and say, Tiger Water, the official water of the internet? Uh, no. Yeah, come on, please. It, it, it'll mean the absolute world to my daughter. Son? Um, yes, I, 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 have, I have both. 
<laughs> in, in Asia. <laughs> Australia. Right. <clears throat> Tiger water, the official water of the internet. Okay, so this has been um, great. Um, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. And for... love the flowers. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, okay. wonderful to meet you. Thanks for popping around. Yeah. Is that it? Yep. Good. So it's been a few hours since I talked to Gary, and he still won't budge. So I have decided to steal, borrow the internet until he can be more reasonable. Oh man, I hope I don't lose my Pulitzer for this. <clears throat> Our Pulitzer. <laughs> Probably not necessary, but better safe than sorry. seems to be full of amphetamines. What do you mean of the uh, internet there? I... I can't let you shut it off. Gary, it's too important. Oh dear, it's not that important at all. It's just a bunch of people. Nobody talks, it's just them screaming at screens. It's not all like that. <laughs> Daisy, love. Whoops, the last time we made a connection. A proper connection online, I mean... The one time that you shared your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations with another human being. One time. Tell me once. I... Okay, so we're not always sitting around singing Kumbaya on, online, but like people need to be connected through... You're young, dear. You're very, very young. You don't recall how it used to be. I mean, it was better in retrospect. I mean, my invention quantifies communication. It limits it. I gave the world to them in a bottle. <laughs> they filled it with their worst selves. It's worthless. No, no, you're wrong. Gary, I'm sorry. I'm taking this with me. Take it. We're glad to be rid of the thing. Only Chris and I've never keep it running anyway. We... Do you have any idea what it is you've created? How important this is, what it means to so many other people besides you. I mean, if you want to be mad at the world because you're not a part of it anymore, then fine. But how can you take it away from everyone else? How can you rescind the gift that you've given to the whole world? It was not your gift. It was never meant for you. It was never meant for this world. It was not your gift. I made it for him.
show up. Mm. Quite decided, yeah. Mm. You were right there. About the internet? About the biscuits. <laughs> they were store bought. How do you burn store bought biscuits? <laughs> I don't give any visitors. I'm depression. Mm. Since I've been a bit of a hash on that. So, <laughs> apologies. Uh, well, we are wrapping up. Oh. So, uh, we're going to leave one camera here in case you decide to. Hello, darling.